On a point of order. What is the point of order, Honorable uh, Dozi? Speak up. Honorable Stienhuis, and please take your seat. Uh, speaker, the point of order is that you, you, and the deputy, firstly, is that the chief whip is abusing us, is quoting an irrelevant section of the rules upon which you must base your ruling. This is not the same session. That rule is talking about sessions, not sittings. There's a fundamental distinction. So we're talking about sessions, and this is a different session. We're appealing. We did not procedurally come to this house and ask Mr. Jacob Zuma to go break the constitution. We could not go to a programming committee and ask to program that president must go and break the constitution. We couldn't do that. Honorable and it, you, you must at least, no, you must at least put Honorable it to the Rose, house. You are now you must abusing least, the house. No, you must at least put it to the house. That's my point of order. No, you Honorable must at Rose. least put it to the house whether our motion must be heard or not. No, Honorable That is how a democracy works. Honorable Rosie. We can't be addressed by a person who breaks the... We're going to debate giving him money today. In our right Rose. conscience, we're going to debate whether he Honorable must get money Rose. or not when he's facing 700 and Honorable something charges Rose. of corruption. Honorable Dozi, can you, you put know the, the motion you to must the House? Follow. Honorable Dozi, you know the channels that you must follow to put a substantive motion if you want to pursue any of the issues you are raising. Honorable Speaker. Stienazen. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I'd like to address you in terms of Rule 70, if I may. Madam Speaker, um, may I proceed? Madam Speaker, we come at this from a slightly different angle. Uh, we believe as well that President Jacob Zuma has violated the Constitution and his oath of office. It's very clear in the Mekhweng judgment, the unanimous judgment at 89, that the President failed to uphold, defend and respect the Constitution as the supreme law of the land. And this failure is manifest from the substantial disregard for the remedial action taken against him. Our view, however, is that this House is responsible in terms of Section 42.3 and 55.2b of the Constitution of overseeing executive action. We would like to then say that we indeed do want to hear from the President today, and we would like him to start by apologizing to the people of South Africa for violating the Constitution. And we would like to hear from him what he intends to do to ensure that his cabinet meets their responsibilities to be accountable to this house, which they have completely ignored. And thirdly, we'd like to hear how he's going to get out of the mess of the 783 criminal charges that exist against him. He can't, he can't do that and he can't account to this house if he is not able to come up here and speak. So we would like you to allow him to speak, but we would like him to commence his address by answering those three very important questions. And we would then like uh, him to offer this House an explanation why he has gone out of his way to undermine the authority of this House, undermine the Constitution, undermine the public protector, and undermine the judiciary. These are important questions that that President needs to account for in this House. This is the primary arena of executive accountability, and he must account. Members, on that note, I now proceed uh, uh, speaker. to budget the, to the budget debate vote speaker, one. just one last thing and no honorable Dozi. no but honorable the, the Dozi, hypocrisy I have not of these you. honorable members i have not recognized you who are honorable called Dozi. the ta i have who are not saying an illegitimate you. person who has broken an honorable oath of office Dozi. must be allowed to leave speak here the chamber honorable the people Dozi. of south africa must know leave how Honorable Dozi, Dozi, have I broken my oath of office? Of have Honorable I broken my oath of office? Arms, please. How do you say I must Honorable leave the house? Dozi, have I broken my oath of office? Of A person breaks the Honorable oath of office, you don't order him to leave the house. Where is the I am telling you that he has broken the oath of office. Assist him the to person go. who must leave the house is the Jacob person who must leave the house leave the is house. Jacob Zuma. He has broken his oath of Jacob office. Zuma. He has no honor. His word cannot stand Jacob here. Zuma leave How the house. How do you house. Like this? The the you must leave the house like this? You must leave the house. How do you allow to be addressed by a person who wants to listen to a bankrupt moral How do you do that? 
Honorable members of the EFF, office, office is everything. I have directed How do we respect the you the when you endorse the truth? We have broken an oath of office. Oath of office, Honorable Balekande. Honorable members, oath of office. Honorable members of the EFF, leave the chamber. But what, what did I do, Madam Speaker? Speaker, you are an embarrassment to yourself, even to your party. How do you worship Jacob Zuma like that? Honorable and Shibamu, like that? can no, you leave the chamber? You Why should you leave the house? Daddy, Zuma, leave the chamber. The we mind. want to leave. What is the Honorable Shope? What is the chamber? Rule are but what rule are you using? We are not going to leave the house. Are you consistent with an oath of the authority of the chair? But Honorable Paul, what are you going to leave the chair? What authority, Honorable Paul? Honorable Paul, Chamber. You want us to leave groups who are more money? Honorable members you are of the chamber. You want us to leave who are more money? You can't even take a decision on your speaker. What did I do? Why are you leaving? I now have inside the chamber. Why are you leaving? 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 Why are you Honorable Sonti, leave the chamber. On what rule? Honorable Tobongana and Honorable Low. What did Honorable Low do? What did Honorable Low do? On what basis? What did Honorable Low do? What did she do, Honorable Low? Speaker, switch off the mics. Honorable members, I am now on the basis. You must just keep quiet. Just leave us and the people who break oath of office, you are fine. Yeah. Don't interfere. You want us to be Don't party interfere. to a crime of Switch Jacob off the mics, I am speaker. asking the, on, the, the Secretary mics. at Arms to invite the Parliamentary Protection invite Services them. to help invite us by them. removing the honorable members of invite the EFF. Them. Let them come. How do we know that they are the protection service? Yeah, they are not wearing out. uniform. Get out. This if you just call civilians to These people are take out members of parliament, where is their identity?